Yes, with our charges. Even with the 50 billion and uh, 50 million, we are still open to negotiations. That's how we've been doing with everybody. Our charges are not cast in stone, but they have been ridiculous. After several uh, uh, meetings with their lawyers, even with the police, we've been writing them letters. You know, oh, at one they say, oh, uh, they, they were not they, 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 they were formally put here. But when you acquire a property, you acquire the assets and liabilities. They have refused to meet us. They have refused to respond. They have refused all our invitation or entreaties. That is why we have come today expecting that the board we today have no choice than to meet with us and listen to us. Enough is enough. They've been owing us millions of naira over the years. Are we supposed to prostrate and beg them? After all, we pay for the services that uh, we enjoy in these hotels. We pay for every little space we use in the hotels. So why are they doing this to us? We are all poor. Because people use our rights with impunity without making recompense. Everyone needs every amount of resources that they can get from anywhere. You hear sometimes of our people falling ill and there's no money for them to treat themselves. Meanwhile, there are lots of money due to them stuck up in organizations like this and they refuse to pay. And we think that's very, very unfair. So we are saying that from now on, everyone will have to pay their due or will make life unbearable for them because okay we as entertainers whenever we have events and we want to use a place like this they ask us to pay and we pay up front basically simple that we need our rights we want our rights and um, our royalties are needed to be given to us so and they cannot be depriving us our rights they think we can only back we can bite so many of them this is a signal to all other hotels and all other people who need to pay our royalties